Yo guys, what is up? Today we are looking at Grid Legends for the Meta Quest 2 and also available on the Quest 2 Pro. This is this is this is gonna be a real racing game. This is finally gonna be a real racing game that we are getting for our headset. Now, me, I usually do eye racing with my VR Quest 2 headset. And, you know, I'm used to a full gaming experience, and that's usually where I spend my time in VR. I don't do much gaming when it comes to, you know, VR natively on the Quest 2. I think a lot of those games are gimmicky. Um, I think they're really short. There are some really good games, but I think a lot of them are short. They're not a full, you know, gaming experience, especially compared to, like, PC VR if you hook in and play games that are actually through your PC. But finally, I think we're getting possibly a really good native game. This game is 31 gigs. It is huge. The game is huge. I had to delete like everything off of my headset in order to get this game on. I have the 64 gig version of, of the Quest 2. But anyway, this game looks good. It looks cool. I'm a little hesitant on what it's going to be like to drive with the actual hand controllers, the VR controllers. Um, I'm used to driving with like a pedal and wheels and, you know, sim racing and stuff like that. So this is definitely going to be a different experience. The game's supposed to have a story mode. It's supposed to have just like a racing mode and an online play. So, you know, it sounds like a full gaming racing experience, more than the gimmicky racing games that we've gotten so far. So that's the reason why I decided to to hop into this. I decided, you know, this one I'm going to actually purchase. So I definitely appreciate it. If you guys thumb up that video, think about subscribing, you know, and when I looked at this game, I'm like, I'm a racing game channel, right? I like to do all different types of racing games. So what kind of channel would I be if I didn't buy Grid Legends for the for the Quest 2? This, this looks like a, could be a real racing game, right? So I had to buy it. I had to buy it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to just hop into some quick races, see what it's like, give you my opinion. And, you know, if I think I'm going to go back to it after this review, that's the big thing for me. Will, will I go back to this game later on? Or is it like one of those tros try and be done with it and never look at this game again? I'm hoping it has a little more life in it than that. So let's just hop into our VR headset and get driving. All right, guys. So it hopped me into this. I'm not doing anything. Let me see if I take over right now press rt to all right so see how we reverse there we go all right here we go we're we are in it the control right now defaulted into the the joystick i thought you'd be able to drive with our hand movement but not we, we can't do that maybe in the settings we can do that um initial thoughts on the graphics and, and i'm, I'm going to be straightforward the, the graphics on this game are, are not are not good. They, they actually look... I was expecting it to be much more clearer, much more sharper. Um, th this is actually a, a huge... It's a huge disappointment, actually. I, I, I am actually really, really upset at what we're looking at here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can get out of this and go into the menu and see if we can uh, maybe... maybe adjust some stuff here. We got... Gameplay settings in here. Um, we got controls, which I don't see any way to actually change from a controller to a steer to like actually like motion control, like you like holding it, like maybe you can steer your wheel. I don't see that option. So you know, if you guys have know that there's an option to actually do that, let me know in the comments. Um, and then you can mess with your audio here. So those are those are the options here. Well, I think we have to maybe finish this initial race, and then let me see. It'll bring me hopefully to a to a new menu that shows me, you know, the different options of, of actually playing the game. But let's, um, let's resume here. Let's, let's try to make it through this. All right. So now that we actually know what we're, what we're holding on to and what we're steering, let's, um, the, the, the graphics are really pixelated. Um, I, 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 this is, this is a, this is actually a really huge disappointment for me. Um, I, I I'm just, I was definitely expecting a lot. I was expecting a lot more. So, so guys, let me know if you if you actually had this game and you played it. You know, let me know if you agree with me. Leave me leave me a, leave me a comment and let me know your first initial impression when you put this game on. But it is, it is it is not good. I want to try to get through this thing. Let me let me uh let's get to the main menu here. All right. So now we have to either play continue story or play current season. Um, I don't know what the difference is. Select a difficulty. I want to just hop into a race. So let's see. We this is story mode. No, nope, I didn't want to do that. All right. So here's the main menu. We have we have home. We have story mode, career, social, race creator, garage, team, and options. Um, I don't see a way to change the graphics in any way. I was hoping there was some kind of setting maybe to mess with the graphics. But let's let's hop into a quick race. Um, I, I, my my first impressions are, I'm I'm definitely a little disappointed here. 
I'm not sure if we can do a quick race against AI or if it's just an online race, but I don't I don't want to race online right now. So I'm going to just try this. I'm just going to try this rookie cup right here and just uh, let's just hop into a race. Um, this looks like Chicago. I'm going to race on Chicago Street. And then, I, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm really disappointed. I'm really disappointed. I, I was really excited for this. I was going to be like, wow, we got an awesome awesome racing game but you know the actual game itself might might be good it might get pretty deep we're in we're in a truck we're in a truck this is interesting see if i remember the the buttons here all right whoa see how we can drive all right we're in a slower vehicle this is a little it's a little more easier to drive Man, I, I don't know why they didn't... I'm not sure why they didn't release this game on PC VR as well as just natively to the to the Quest and the, the you know... I think if the, the graphics were were up by like a lot more... This this is just a blur... This is seriously, this is just a blurry mess to me. This is just a blurry pixelated... I almost feel like I'm I'm in I'm playing like an Atari game here. This game is thirty dollars to buy, and and again it might it might it might offer you know like a nice deep gameplay, but you know what's what's important to you is my question. You know, and and I can deal with graphics that aren't the best. I, I just want something clear. I want something sharp, and I'm just not I'm I'm not seeing that. I'm not seeing that here at, at all, at all. And plus, plus, we're not getting we're not getting motion control. And, and again, if, if there is motion control, guys, correct me in the comments. Um, this is just an initial quick. This is the first time I'm playing this, so what you're seeing, what you're seeing, my reaction in real time. I, I didn't try this out before, and then, and then showing you, you know, my thoughts after. I, I'm showing you my real time reaction. You know, can, can the game be fun? It, why is there no mirror? There's no mirror. We have, we have no mirrors. I feel like I'm feel like I'm back to to NASCAR ignition with no mirror here. Everything is just it's just blurry. It's not it's not clear. The dashboard is 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 blurry. I, I don't know. Maybe my expectations were set a little too high. But I, 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 you know, I, I, I was expecting. Oh, we're gonna flip. No, nope, we're not gonna flip. We're not gonna flip. Come on, move that truck. Move that truck. I, I don't feel like I'm engaged with the car. I don't feel like I'm engaged in the game. Um, you know, the whole, the whole thing with with VR is is to feel like you're you're. You're in the you're in the car. You're driving it. I I don't feel like I'm driving it with moving a joystick to control my vehicle. That that kind of takes away that whole VR VR feeling like you're controlling it. If I was able to to at least like move my hands like this and feel like I'm actually driving the car and get some like feedback or some like vibration as I'm like driving in my in my controllers and and but but driving the car with Oh, that came in there a little hot. Driving the car with 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 the with the joystick is not does not immerse me in this. And and I I just can't get I I can't get over how bad I can't get over how bad these graphics are. It's such a disappointment. Like they're, they're, all the people and everything on the side and all the action going on. Like they're just, they're like pixelated messes. You you can't even make out. Like, you know there are people there, but they just look. It looks so. I can't. I I can't even. This game this game is thirty dollars, so it's not even like you know it was like a little five dollar game or something. You know this this is this is EA Sports. They're throwing in a. You know, they're a high quality game maker. But. I, 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 I'm going to, I'm going to actually, I'm going to, I'm going to stop here. I'm going to stop here. I, I don't know if there's any reason to even, for me to dig deeper in this game. 
Um, because I don't see I'm not really sure I'm gonna keep playing this. You know, maybe the online will be fun playing against real players. Um, it might add a little excitement to it. And, and again, the gameplay itself might be might be good. It might offer a great story mode. It might offer some great gameplay. It might offer a, a lot. But like I'm just sitting here like waving my arms like with the controller. Nothing's moving except if I move my my joystick. And then the the the, the like Atari probably not 2600. Maybe like what is it? The Atari 7800 was like the upgraded Atari. Maybe, maybe you know what? Let's go even further. If you guys remember the Commodore, the Commodore 64, or maybe like the um. What, what was the other one? I, I owned another computer, like an Amiga, an Amiga, an Amiga, something like that. Like we're back here. That's what I feel like these graphics are back to, like like something like that. But all right, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna wreck it right here. And then we're gonna, we're gonna talk. We're gonna talk. We're gonna talk a little about this right now. We're gonna talk about this. All right, so so let's 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 have all right, so let's have a little little conversation here because I was I, I, I don't know if you could you could you know even though I have a VR headset on I'm I'm sure you could see my disappointment in that game just my for my first impression I I might play it a little bit more just to get a little more deeper in and see if there's 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 more substance in the game and things do get better and you can kind of forget about the graphics and everything like that but but that that first impression and, and I, like I said I didn't play the game before that was literally my first time playing it that you saw me play it I wanted you to get my real my real you know take on it like immediately what I thought about it and that that, that was not good I didn't feel engaged the graphics were bad um I, I I'd love to know what you guys think if you guys have bought the game you know leave me a comment below I could be totally wrong here you know you guys might leave comments and be like yo this is the greatest racing game ever but um, if you if you've ever like if you have a PC and you've done iRacing, racing or if you have a PC and you've never done iRacing, racing like try something like that and then I know this is a standalone headset game and you're not gonna get like you know desktop PC graphics I understand that but I I think it should at least be clear the graphics should be clear they shouldn't be pixelated they shouldn't be so blurry I was expecting something much sharper but if you play the game and you'll you'll you know you'll obviously understand what I'm saying. Otherwise, that, that that's great, Legends. If you want to see more videos on this, I, I don't know why you why you would, but you know, leave me a comment below. But I love it if you guys thumb up the video because I do lots of other great racing games that are like really exciting and good stuff. So thumb up the video, subscribe, um, and thanks for watching. But like that was, um, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. That, that's all. That's all I got. That's all I got to say, guys. Thanks. Peace.